okay, going to be showing you the Jesuit control over modern day communism. And yes, communism is definitely Jesuitical, has roots in the, the Roman Catholic Church. And yes, communism is also very atheistic, but the modern atheist movement is yoked up with the Catholic Church. Here's an article on Breitbart News. It says, Jesuit magazine makes Catholic case for communism. And by the way, Joseph Stalin was a Jesuit, by the way. He was Jesuit trained. And uh, yes, well, communism is definitely very atheistic. It has ties to the Jesuits, too. The Jesuit flagship, flagship publication in the United States America magazine has published an article defending Marxism comparing the murderous atheist ideology to Christianity. Of course, Roman Catholicism is not Christianity. Roman Catholicism does not preach the gospel found in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. It preaches a false works-based gospel of the Mass, the sacraments. So, Roman, Catholic, Roman Catholicism is one of Satan's greatest counterfeits to Christianity. In The Catholic Case for Communism, America's editor, Dean Dedelshoff, says that the militant atheism of the Marxist politics is understandable because Christianity has often been a force allied with the ruling powers that exploit the poor. You know, he means the Catholic Church. The Catholic Church is filthy rich. I mean, the Catholic Church is worth billions. While people are starving in other countries, the Catholic Church keeps getting fatter and fatter. So, he's right about the Catholic Church being like that, but Christianity is not like that. Because, again, Roman Catholicism is Satan's counterfeit to biblical Christianity. They, 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 they don't know the gospel of Jesus Christ. They preach a false gospel, not the gospel found in 1 Corinthians 15, 1-4. As a number of prospective presidential candidates from the Democratic Party are openly donning the mantle of socialism, America took the issue one step further, suggesting that the negative reaction to Bernie Sanders' inspiring, inspiring 2016 primary bid and the electoral success of Alexandria, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez and Rashida Tlaib represents a revival of socialist hysteria. Uh, Dedeltoff, Dedeltoff, I think I say it, showcases Marxist priests, <laughs> Marxist priests, like Herbert McCabe, O.P., Ernesto, and Fernando Cardinal S.J. So they're, they're Jesuitical Marxist priests. Uh, Ferdi Beto, O.P., uh, and Camilio Toros. I hope I'm saying those names right. Who have, inspi have been inspired by communists in many places, contributed to communist and communist influence movements such as members of the corruption, or as, as if the corruption of Catholic clergy were grounds for supporting Marxism. Of course, the Catholic Church, again, um, Karl Marx was Jewish, obviously. He had uh, he was born into a Jewish family, but he was Jesuit trained. So, yes, the com again, the communist movement is very atheistic, but the modern atheist movement is yoked up with the Vatican. Which is funny, because they'll speak against Catholicism, but really they're yoked up with them. Because the people who are for the Jesuits often will speak against the Jesuits and the Catholics to make it seem like they're not. Many of my friends in the Party for Socialism and Liberation, for example, a Marxist Leninist party, are church going church going Christian folks, the whole problem with the church building thing, or folks with the, without a grudge against their Christian upbringing, Dedeloff declares, as are lots of people with the radical wing of the Democratic Socialists of America. The writer describes Christianity, Roman Catholicism, as just another ideological faction alongside their other factions, such as communism. He's right. Roman Catholicism is communism. Very, 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 very uh, true what he said right there. But not Bible-believing Christianity that follows the Word of God and the Gospel found in 1 Corinthians 15, 1-4. The history of communism, wherever else it might be, will always contain the history of Christianity or vice versa. Whether by means of either faction, whether, whether members of either faction like it or not, he proposes, citing Marxist arguments, Dedeloff makes a bizarre, the bizarre claim that ownership of private property necessarily leads to slavery. <laughs> sure. Again, the Catholic Church, they don't want, the, the Catholic Church, they stand against liberalism, but the good sides of liberalism, because obviously the social liberal ideology of, of the Democrats is not good, but liberalism in the sense of uh, freedom, liberty, liberty of conscience, freedom of the press, freedom of speech, freedom of association, that kind of stuff, that's the good sides of liberalism. The bad sides of liberalism are the social, liber social leftism, social liberalism, that kind of stuff, the stuff the Democrat Party stands for. But liberty and freedom is the good side of liberalism. And that, that's the good side of liberalism the Catholic Church condemns. Uh, where is it? Where was I at? Oh yeah, since property owners can come to see other people as just another form of property to be owned. Capitalism, now, I want to give a little heads up, I'm not a supporter of capitalism. Uh, capitalism, the, the, it is, I, I did a video, does the Bible teach capitalism? And no, the Bible does not teach capitalism, because capitalism, when it comes down to it, is all about, all about money. 
And the Bible talks about how the love of money is the root of all evil. Jesus talks about how it's hard for a rich man to enter into the kingdom of heaven. So, no, I'm not a capitalist, but there are aspects of capitalism that are good. However, uh, capitalism is still wrong in many ways, but uh, capitalism is, there are again, there are aspects that are good, but no, I'm not a capitalist. I'll just, I'll just leave it at that. I'm not a capitalist. Capitalism emerged through the privatization of once of what was once public, like shared land. See again, there are good sides of capitalism, because capitalism is about property ownership. But the, the bad sides of capitalism is the money hungry uh, mentality. As the time went on, human beings themselves would become the private property of other human beings. Communists, on the other hand, are loving people concerned for the all. Of, Oh, above all, for the good of the poor. <laughs> sure they are. Uh, even if they okay, have occasionally strayed from their pure roots. Pure roots of communism, sure. Yeah, what about the Soviet Union? What about Mao Zedong? You know? Yeah, pure roots of communism, for sure. Communism in its social-political expression has at times caused great human and uh, ecological suffering. So he acknowledges that, but he still promotes it, sure. Uh, Dietilof, uh concedes, but any good communist is quick to, quick to admit as much as he adds, because communism is an unfinished project that depends on uh, recognition recognition of its real and tragic mistakes. And again, capitalism has has its mistakes too. Again, that's how I'm not a capitalist. Capitalism and communism, I'm not, I'm not either one. Okay? I'm in the middle. Uh, Mr. Dietilof, uh, Evan, I'm also not a fascist either, because fascism is just communism repackaged, so I'll, I'll just have to put that out too. I'm not a fascist. Uh, evidently believes that over 100 million deaths in the 20th century can be reduced to great human and ecological suffering caused by the Marxist ideology being an unfinished project. Sure. It was actually just a Roman Catholic crusade, essentially. A Roman Catholic Inquisition in a different form. One would be tempted to suggest that Marxism was a, or a finished project of deaths would be many times greater. Yeah, that'd be, that's definitely very true. Uh, Dedalov goes so, so far as the parallel Marxist communist manifesto to Catholic teaching on the nature of private property. Again, Catholic, Catholicism is communism. You know, the authoritarian, fascistic ideology of communism. Uh, although the Catholic Church officially teaches that private property is a natural right, Dedalov continues, the teaching also comes uh, with a premise that private property is also subordinate to the common good. See, that's communism, because you don't have individual rights, you have the common good. This is what fascism stood for, too. You don't have individualism, you don't have your individual liberties, you have you have to serve the common folk. You know, it's uh, they reject individualism. They reject individual freedom and liberty, and say your duty is to the, you know, to everyone, which is not scriptural at all. In what has been called the Magna Carta of the Catholic Social, of Catholic social Thought, Pope Leo uh, wrote, Again, I can't really read no Roman numerals, so I do apologize. Uh, something with a uh, trifle of different. In this 1891, Ecclesi Ecclesial, again, not the best at reading on a computer, I've said this in other videos, letter to Reum Novarium. Uh, the socialist Leo wrote, working on the poor man's envy of the rich and striving to do away with private property and contend with that individual possession should come become the common property of all. And to be administered by the state or by municipal bodies. See that that's communism. More proof that the Catholic Church is communist. No, individual private property. The Bible teaches. I showed in my video. Does the Bible teach socialism? Uh, the Bible teaches that private property ownership is scriptural. You can own you can own property. So, uh, just one of the many ways the Catholic Church contradicts scripture. So yeah, communism is not scriptural at all. The remedy to injustice proposed by the socialist is manifestly against justice. He continued, since every man has by nature every right, has the right to per, uh, possess property of his own. The Jesuits' decision to publish a radical article of this sort suggests that they believe public opinion is warming towards communism. American editors have floated on whether, uh, but on the weather on floated a weather balloon to see how Americans react to communism 2.0. In doing so, the Jesuits are more are have likely overplayed their hand. Even in the age of Francis, yeah, Francis is very socialistic and socialist-like. Uh, two, many people remember that communism has been one of the most destructive and murderous ideologies in the history of humanity. The century of unspeakable terror and tortures and massacres is difficult to forget. Exactly. And here's the actual article by America Magazine. They also had an article promoting the uh, Sodomite Agenda, too, which is Roman Catholic. Uh, America, the Catholic case for communism. Sure. 
and it's like they're, they're presenting this uh, hammer and sickle with this fake, you know, graven image of Jesus Christ, because according to Acts 17, 20, uh, Acts 17, 29, forbids making any images of the Godhead. So what are you doing with these, these crucifixes? And of course, there's another article here. The Pope's Marxist head of the Jesuits. Yeah, Marxist head of the Jesuits. Understanding the age that uh, that personal personality policy, Pope Francis has been planting Marxists throughout the church, including atop, uh, including atop of the troubled religious order which belo- which he belongs to. Get the Pope Francis is a Jesuit. In 2016, the Jesuits, with the blessing of Pope Francis, installed as a general Venezuelan fa- father. I shouldn't be calling him father because only God should be called father. When it says be, when it says like you know, call me no, no man your father, the Catholics will say, well, see, you call your parents father. So no, it's saying about a religious title. Okay, I can call my parents mother and father. I can't call a preacher father as a re- religious title. Okay, because Catholics they try to get around that by saying, well, you call your parents father. Yeah, but it's not a religious title. Okay, only God should be called Holy Father. So it, it's blasphemy calling. I mean, just they, they, it's blasphemy to call the Pope Holy Father. So had to point that out. Father Arturo Sosa Abascal, again, not the best at reading these names on the computer, whose communist convictions have long been known. Sosa uh, has written about the Marxist uh, med- meditation of the Christian faith, arguing that the Church should understand the existence of Christians who simultaneously call themselves Marxist. Christians, professing Christians, Catholics, who call themselves Marxist. Again, Catholics don't believe the gospel found in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. They believe in a works based gospel with no eternal security and a continual process of works and, and sanctification. And, and it's, it's never a, a one time event, it's a continual works based process. And commit themselves to the transfer, transformation of the, of the capitalist society into a socialist society. In 1989, he signed a letter praising Fidel Castro. Oh yeah, yeah, that, that's that. Um, what was he? A uh, Cuban, that Cuban dictator, socialist dictator. He was an atheist too, by the way. So yeah, communism is definitely atheistic as well. Turn down any corridor in France's Vatican, and you're likely to run to a de facto communist. Francis has a communist running in the order. His order, a communist running his Council of Cardinals, and a communist running the Pontific, Pontifical uh, Academy of Social Sciences, and communists such as the renegade Brazilian liberation theologian uh, Leonardo Boff, as the Canadian and the Canadian socialist Naomi Klein drafting his Ecclesiacals. I guess I say it. So he's a Marxist. He's a communist. Again, proving the Jesuitical control of communism. It is a no coincidence that every that only that the only U.S. presidential candidate who made the visit to the Vatican during the campaign was a socialist who who had a honeymoon in the Soviet Union. Bernie Sanders, yeah, he's he's uh, a Jesuit. Yeah, he's controlled by the Jesuits. Most of these so-called Jewish leaders that like are running the play, running the banks and that kind of stuff, they're controlled by the by the Vatican, the Jesuits. Turned up at the Vatican in April 2016 and received an invitation from Pope Francis's close Argentine friend, Bishop. Marcello Chinez Sorondo. Hope I'm saying that right. Uh, we invited the candidate who cites the Pope mo- most in the campaign, and that is the Sen- that is Senator Bernie Sanders. Explain Sorondo, who added that Sanders Sa- Sanders' agenda is very analogous to that of the Pope. Uh, in this smug leftist atmosphere in Rome, Sosa's elevation to the head of the Jesuits was in in sorry. Innovatable. Sorry, I can. I, I'm not. I suck at reading on my computer. I, it, when I print stuff out, I read a lot better. In the past, the Jesuits have been called the Pope's Marines. So, yeah, because they're a military order. They're they're designed to fight against the Protestant Reformation and bring people back to Rome. Under Sosa, they are more like the Pope's Marxists, peddling the climate uh, change propaganda as a pretext for global socialism. What's going to happen is when, when the Antichrist shows up, they're going to have a global fascist government. Because it's not going to be social. Socialism is kind of like one of these boogeymen, just like how Islam is one of these boogeymen they hold up. When the Antichrist shows up, it's going to be a right-wing fascist type of government. Basically, that's what the alt-right is is uh, propagating. That's what the Black Lives Matter movement should be opposed. Because the Black Lives Matter movement, a lot of them are just are just shills, and a lot of them are actually working with like, like the Black, the New Black Panthers, the Nation of Islam, all these guys. They're working. The alt, them and the alt-right are working together, and they're trying to set up these riots. So. The uh, right wingers, the alt right, can come in and say, "See, like we need a fascist government," and the rioters will basically lead to a right wing fascist government that will take away your liberty and freedom. That's why it's important for us to call out Black Lives Matter, and 
say that no, oh, these guys, they, you know, they're wrong what they're doing. We have to call them out, confront them, and call them out. Because mark my words, the, the new Black Panthers, the Nation of Islam, you know, the the Black Power movement is working with the alt right. Believe me. You need to start by reflecting exactly what Jesus said. So also told in Italian. Oh, sorry, I didn't read that. Uh, Pope Fran- uh, but Sosa's ambitions, like Pope Francis, go be well beyond meddling in the economies. He is also pushing a moral revolution of the, in the church. Evident that his astonishing claim that since none of the apostles tape recorded Jesus Christ, his words on adultery can be ecclesi- ecclesiastically reinterpreted. See, again, it's their tradition above scripture. See, because it wasn't tape recorded, you know, because we have the written word of God, but that's not enough, okay? Our tradition overthrows scripture. That's what they're saying right here. So, you know, again, Catholics, they don't believe the word of God. We gave you the Bible. No, you didn't. Okay? Catholics claim they gave us the Bible. It's kind of funny because they, they sure do hate the book that they claim to believe. They claim they gave us the Bible, but they don't, they don't believe the Bible. Their, their tradition overthrows scripture. But I'm not going to read this whole thing. The bottom line is, is that the, com- the Catholic Church is communist. It's it's socialist, you know. And socialism is in root in bed with the Jesuits, just like the atheists, just like the Black Power movement, just like the alt right, all this stuff, fascism and communism, all in bed with the socialists. I mean, all in bed with the the Jesuits. So, don't be deceived by this Jesuitical uh, socialist garbage. God bless you. Goodbye.